This week, I have mostly been drinking mushroom wine. I am really loving the colour of this wine. It's so golden, it's so beautiful. Hello, Dodd. He wants some. Anyway, the colour of the wine, it's so golden, that straw like deep golden. Oh, beautiful. What really helped was using Demerara sugar into the wine. That gave it this lovely, beautiful colour. I'm so surprised that it became so clear so quickly. This wine went this clear in under a month. It is amazing. I want to try the same recipe, but using plain white granulated sugar instead of the Demerara. But I love that colour that the Demerara has given it. It's beautiful. For a wine that was made of mushrooms and marmite, I am most surprised at this wine. I've tried a few bottles the other night, and I have to say, it's one of my favourites. Because it became really good really quickly. It didn't take long to ferment, nor to mature, or to clear. Now that is why I like trying different unusual wines. You never know how they're going to turn out unless you try it. I recently made some bland using the whey that is the leftovers from cheese making. And so many of you have tried it and are saying it's going really well. So why don't you try some mushroom wine? No point looking at it in a bottle. That's not going to do any good, is it? Let's try a glass. So hey, time for a glass. Cheers. Cheers. This looks absolutely fantastic. It would go really well with a loaf of homemade bread. Oh, thank you, darling. Yeah. <laughs> homemade bread, homemade wine. Anyway, what's it like, the mushroom wine? It smells absolutely delicious. I really cannot tell you that it's made of mushrooms and marmite. It's so, so wine-like. Just like, I don't know, you go to Testo's, get a bottle off the shelf, this is it. This is a great, deep, rich, oaky, peaty Chardonnay. Maybe not Chardonnay, maybe more of a, oh, a white Riotta, that's what it's like. Or a golden yoker. So a teal of mushrooms, a teal and a half of demerara sugar, marmite, and it has gone and formed a brilliant golden, golden, brilliant wine. Try it, you'll love it. I would say that this probably cost me £1.50 for the garden including the sugar, the mushrooms, <sighs> yeah. You couldn't buy one bottle for a tenth of that price of this quality wine. Well worth making. That's why I love home brew. You can experiment, you can mess around different flavours, create what you like. And if you don't like it, I'm sure neighbours might do. Or they might be too polite to say they don't like it. This has to be one of my top five homebrew wines to make. Next up, I think I'm going to be reviewing red kidney bean wine that I made a while back. That has taken an age to ferment. That's because the proteins in the beans have taken an age to break down and release all the sugar. Slow process, so that could well be up there amongst my top five homebrew wines. What's your favourite homebrew to make? What's your favourite wine? Unusual wine, weird wine. Tell me. And whilst you're at it, why don't you subscribe down below, give us a like, and we will update you with lots more weird and wonderful homebrew wines. See you soon.
join me soon for Red Kidney Bean Wine.